David, can you tell us a little bit about this camera and what are you showing us today? I'm showing you the easiest, simplest, most accurate way to attach photo images to electronic medical records. Using that camera? Using the G700SE dynamic capture camera. Well, all right, well, let's see it. Okay. Camera has a built in form, very easy to customize, and it also has the ability to scan barcodes, which will be able to ID the patient and other subsequent information that would be useful, which would be then become contained within the electronic medical record. So barcodes like on a patient wristband? Correct. Like so. Here's my patient Kevin. We're going to activate the barcode scanner. There, as you see, Kevin is now tagged now in that specific How did it scan moment. the barcode? Is it, did it scan it with some attachment? No, nope. that is built uh, right in the lens. Uh, okay, I see. And you said you can scan additional barcodes? Yep, uh, in this instance too, what could be some useful information is the doctor information that I may have uh, on my name tag. So I have that in there as a second field. So I'm now going to scan that information. And then that will also be contained, as you see, the subsequent information on the second line. Okay, and then what's next? Okay, what's next? Um, the way we've built and customized this specific form is we have parts of the anatomy. And this, in this instance, it is Kevin's uh, right arm. However, it could be, as you see with the drop-down list, it could be a variety of options that we would choose to put in of information uh, to be included in our electronic medical records. So whatever your workflow dictates, you could put this into the camera. Exactly, and you could make it as elaborate or as simple as you, as you wish. Some healthcare systems, for example, the only thing they do is scan the patient ID. Uh, and that's enough uh, to ensure with accuracy uh, that the images will get pushed to the correct patient record. So that's the index in their database. That's exactly right. Okay, and then what do we do here? So you've got all this information. We just take the picture? Just take the picture. Point, shoot. Okay. So how good a camera is this? Could you get closer if you wanted to? Oh, yes. It's, uh, in fact, I could even get so close I could even touch something, perhaps in the dermatology With realm the or something. Yes, okay. if need be. So uh, it's 12 megapixels as well, up to 12 megapixels. So certainly a quality, detailed camera. In addition to that, in the clinical environment, uh, as it is disinfectant proof, uh, it will allow you to clean it with disinfectant, uh, keep it sterilized, which obviously is very important in this environment. So we're to this stage, we've reviewed our image and it has wireless capability. So now I just press the OK key. It has sent the image along with the memo data and the ID tag up into the server. It is then going to match that information with the back end database or your EMR system. So consequently, one of the advantages to this is that I will be able to review this information and the images with my patient on this specific encounter. So, so you're simulating that here today with an iPad? Uh, I am, exactly. Um, the tablets have become very popular uh, within the healthcare space. So it means it's more portable. I don't have to plug the camera in and tether it or wire it in to the PC. Everything happens seamlessly within the server. Wow. So how would I contact you if I was interested in this? RicoDC.com. RicoDC.com. Very good. Thank you. Thank you.